Hey Aquarius, Yana Speaks here, and in this video, I am doing your love reading for mid-February 2019, alright? And I gotta start off by letting you know that all of these readings are general, so they may or may not resonate with you, because not every single Aquarius is going through the same exact thing, okay? I also gotta point out the obvious, yes, only one hand is done, this hand is not, and that's because I needed to make sure I get your readings out as soon as possible, and if I sat here and I waited until um you know my hands the you know the nail polish was dried and shit like that it would take forever for me to get your reading out okay so before any stupid person points that out that's the obvious all right so let's get started what is the important messages that aquarius need to know this month what important messages do aquarius need to know this month all right, so we have pay attention to red flags, make the effort, release your ex, you deserve love. So the very first thing that pops out to me, honestly, out of all of these is pay attention to red flags because we, as people, tend to ignore red flags. The, the signs be right there, but we just don't never want to pay attention to them. Okay, and then the next thing that pops out at me is release your ex, okay? So your, your ex is obviously showing you signs that you need to release them. You may not be paying attention to them, you may be ignoring them, you know, and I understand, okay? I um, also want you to pay attention to this as well. You deserve love, okay? You are lovable and make the effort, okay? So I feel like you need to make more effort when it comes into realizing that you deserve love, okay? You guys need to go out, socialize, have fun, you know, and explore other people because you deserve love, okay? Now let's see what's going on for you guys. What is the overall energy for you guys this month, okay? What is the overall energy? For Aquarius, February 2019, what is going on with them? Please give me a clear answer of what's going on with the Aquarius. For some reason, I'm shuffling sloppy today. Not that I don't shuffle sloppy at times. Yeah, I'm shuffling like really sloppy today. Apologies. It's probably because I've done so many readings today and my hands are tired. Right. So right off the bat, I do not like these cards. I do not like these cards. All right. So we are starting off with the king of wands reverse and the five of chalices reverse so this already lets me know that you guys are dealing with someone who is a master manipulator this is the type of person that they like to have power over people and they like to abuse their power over you honestly okay this is a womanizer um this is a manizer as well because women can be manipulative as well but this is the type of person that when you first meet them they come off very charming okay but it's really their way of having power over you it's like they work their magic to get you attached to attached to them they draw you in and then they manipulate the fuck out of you okay and i'm seeing with the five of chalices reverse it's like this person has totally disappointed you okay totally disappointed you but you guys are recovering from that you're getting over this disappointment with this person okay you like you're no longer sad you're no longer soaking in your sorrows i mean let's show let me show you how this card looks in the upright look at her she looks so freaking sad okay she looks crushed so disappointed soaking in her sorrows but it's reversed you guys are you, you've been there done that you you done cry all the tears that you could cry you like been there done that that energy is gone okay and with the seven of wands, you guys are standing your ground. You're the very you're very defensive toward this person and you're not backing down, okay? You're standing your ground and what you believe in. This person cannot bullshit you. Their their little power tricks that they try to run on you in the past that work, it's not gonna work today, okay? And with the Queen of uh, the King of Swords of Verse, I feel like you guys were dealing with someone 
who not only abuse their power over you, but this is the type of person that they're very critical, very judgmental. Um, they they may have even like criticized you to other people, like you know, gossip and talk a whole bunch of crap about you. This type of person that does not make you know head over heart decisions. Like they don't think before they do things. They they tend to like be kind of impulsive. Like they could be very um it's like they should be more wise but they're not they don't use the wisdom that they've gained over the years it's just like they do the total opposite of what they really should be doing okay and this person tends to just criticize and critique everything that you do okay so it's like with the seven on ones i feel like you're standing up to this person and you're like i don't care what you say you could say that i do this you could say i do that no it's not me it's you you're the problem. I feel like this person constantly trying to make it seem like you're the issue. You do everything wrong. And I'm here to tell you, there's no way that one person can do everything. Like, there's no way one person can always be wrong. It's just, it's just not humanly possible. No way. So this person be coming at you, oh, you do this, you do that, blah, blah, blah. There's no way everything that you do is wrong. I just have to let that be known. No way. Not even the worst person could do everything wrong, Okay. They're, they play a major part in this as well. They probably are the one that's doing the most wrong. And you probably, the only wrong you're doing is dealing with they shit. That's it. But I, from what I'm saying, it doesn't look like you want to do this anymore. Okay? And I feel like you guys want to have a new start. And you want to be free. That's what I'm seeing here. And you want to do your own thing. I don't think like you guys want to be committed. I also feel like you kind of want to zone this person out and like, ignore them and act like they're not even there and just embrace this new start but i feel like you guys are scared because you feel like it's risky because it's kind of like the unknown um you know what i mean it's like to 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 totally get rid of this person and have this new start it's it's scary to you because you don't know what you're walking into it's the unknown like i'm saying but i see with the five pentacles i feel like you guys are very clear about wanting to leave this person out in the cold okay like you're done I feel like February, a lot of signs are done. Like, most of the readings that I'm doing, it's like, y'all are done. I don't know if Valentine's Day woke y'all up, but y'all done. Okay, so I just want to see how this person is feeling about you. So, how's this person feeling about the Aquarius? How's this person feeling about this Aquarius? Okay, Aquarius, so I feel like this person that you're dealing with is very spiritual. They are very intuitive, okay? And they know that there's a deep bond and, con and connection here. They also view you as a soulmate okay so they do acknowledge like that there is a strong connection here there's a bond here right but for some reason they like to one-up you they like to have you feel defeated like i said this person likes to have power so it's like they love you. Well, you know, this is not love because if you want to one up somebody, that's not love. So, like I said, this person feels like you are their soulmate and they feel that intuitively because this person is very intuitive. But they like to one up you because, like I said, they like to have power. They also like to one up you because truly deep down inside, they don't really want anything committed. This person feels secure being by themselves. They feel independent being by themselves. But it's like they want to be free and like do their own thing and not really be in a committed relationship. But at the same time, they can't deny this connection that they feel with you. They can't deny that they view you as a soulmate, right? So because they don't really want anything too serious and because they really feel comfortable being alone and secure in their own space and not really caring about anything, you know, as far as a relationship, they constantly one up you. They abuse their authority over you because being in this relationship is really not what they want okay 
and it's like what I'm seeing is like their attitude is kind of like I feel like you guys wanted something serious whereas this person was kind of like well let's just go with the flow let's just see where things go you know that was their attitude but it's it, even though they were saying that to you that's not really what they were feeling you know what I'm saying like they were telling you, oh, let's just go with the flow. Let's just see how things go. Let's just, you know, see what will be, what will come of this situation. But they really didn't want anything to become of this situation. They didn't want things to progress to the next level. They didn't want expansion. They weren't making plans for this to grow. Okay. And I feel like as time went on, you started to peep that. And that's why you were disappointed. But like I said, you guys came out of that space and I feel like they were constantly one-upping you and abusing their power over you because to be committed is not what they truly want. But they still want you. So it's like they're selfish. They want their cake and eat it too. I don't want to be with you and, and be committed to you. I want to be free and, and you know, um, feel secure and feel independent and have my own and be stable. But I don't really want to, you know, let you go either. So like I said... They want their cake and eat too. And I think that's why I'm going to title this uh, this reading. Because that's essentially what this is. Okay. So, um, I'm going to ask what will be ooh, what will be the outcome between you and this person three months from now. Will you keep, you know, keep it moving? Or will you, you know, somehow reconnect with them? So, what will... That meant to pop out, it'll pop up again. What will be the outcome between the Aquarius and this person three months from now? Yeah, you guys are done. <laughs> you guys are done. This is this is the second time the Five of Pentacles came out. This is the second time the King of Swords came out. The King of Swords reverse came out. You guys are done. You're done. You're not entertaining this person no more. You're just going to leave them out in the cold. You're over it. All right, Aquarius, I'm telling you, this month, um, you signs are not, the signs are not playing. Like, this month, everybody's letting go of people that don't serve them. Okay, so anyways, Aquarius, before you guys go, right, I did this 2019 yearly love outcome reading, and I got, and I want you guys to go check it out, okay? Um, it's not like this reading because this reading is just about this month. It's the whole entire 2019, okay? So if you would like to see it, please go here to check it out. Another thing I have to point out, if you would like to book a private reading with me, all the information to do that is in the description below. I want to thank you guys once again for watching. I love you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.